This one is also decay, again, because it's between 0 and 1. What is 11? Growth. So we have another growth. 2 over 5. Now, we, we actually said something about decay the other day. When it's a fraction, how do we know if it's growth or decay? Which means it's what? Okay, so if the top number is bigger than, is smaller than the bottom number, is that growth or decay? Okay, so that's decay. Oops, can't spell decay apparently. And the rest of them are growth. Pretty sure. Okay, now look, what do you think the growth or decay factor is? Just a guess, what do you think it is, yeah? All right, um, that would actually be the rate as a percent, so that's not, that, what's the other thing that we can have? All right, uh, no, that's not necessarily true either. No, not one. The number in parentheses is the growth factor. Hang on just a second. So, now that we have the microphone better, the growth or decay factor is actually the number in parentheses, like we just said. So this is point 0.2. What do you think it is as a rate? What do you think the decay rate is as a percent? All right, you would think 20%, but that's wrong. What is the decay rate as a percent? What? That's actually right. It's 80%. So how did you get that? Where did you subtract it from? All right, point two is 20%, so you have 20% of 100 left, which means that 80% of it went away. Does that make sense? Listen, that's why it takes a lot of concentration, because 80 minus 20 is not hard. So let, let's go, it, it'll be easier when we do more, okay? So here, the decay factor is 0 0.06, right? But the decay rate as a percent is 94%. Okay? So, here's how it is. It's basically the distance away from 100% that you are. Does that make sense? Away? Does that make sense? So, it's how far from 100%. You really want to get that stuck in your head because until you do, this is going to be the most awful thing that you've ever done. So, that is correct. This is growth. The growth factor is 1.55. How far is 1.55 from 100%? 55%. Everybody kind of getting the hang of it? Yeah. Maybe a little. 2.5. What is 2.5 as a percentage? That's 250%. How far away is that from 100? 150%. All right. What about the growth factor, the decay factor here, how much is the decay factor here? It's 0.4, right? So what is the decay rate as a percent? So this is 40%, that is 60% away from 100. Does that make sense? Alright, I want you to do 14, 15, and 16 on your own, please. All right, so here the growth factor is 
So that's 260% away from 100%. This is 1.09, which is 9% growth. This is 1.5, which is 50% growth. All right. Everybody good so far? Fifteen? All right, again. How far is it away from 100%? So that's 109%, right? So it's 9% away. Sorry, I didn't mean to write that. What? 1.5 is 150%. That's 50% away from 100, right? Okay. So the cleaning solution loses 7% of its volume each hour to evaporation. Is this growth or decay? Okay. For one, A says what's the decay factor, so that's usually a pretty big hint, right? So what is the decay factor here? No. Look at this. Is there a single time in this entire chart where the percent and the factor were the same thing? Is there a single instance in that entire chart? No. So you at least know that the answer is not the percent. So it's decay. So, and we say it. We're saying that it's 7% away from 100%, right? So how far it is from 100? So 0.93. 7 is point, it, 7% is how far away it is from 100, so the answer is 0.93. Does that make sense? So the equation to model this is y equals... 32 times 0.93 raised to the x. Okay? It's really how you have to think of it. Because I promise it's not that hard as long as you just understand all it is is how far it is away from 100. Yeah? 7, 7 is 0 0.07, right? I mean, if you need to, it's a 100 minus 7, which is 93, which, if you change that to a percent. Okay. All right, next. Is de what is this word right here? Somebody pronounce that word for me. What? It is depreciation. Let's name some things that depreciate. Car value. What else? What? Houses appreciate. Which means they go up in value. Textbooks depreciate. Computers depreciate very quickly. All electronics depreciate. Yeah, pretty much everything except houses and uh stocks maybe. Yeah, depends on which stocks you buy, yeah. Alright. Let's so, is depreciation growth or decay? Decay. decay. It says it depreciates at a rate of 12% each year. So, what is my decay factor here? Again, 12% is how far it is away from 100%. 0.88. 0 .88. So, here we have Y equals 25,000 times 0.88 raised to the x. How can I figure out how much that will be worth after five years? Does the 5 go in as x or does the 5 go in as y? It goes in as x. So what's the easiest way for us to do that? All right, yeah, let's put it in what part of our calculator? The y equals part. And then where are we going to look up the answer? In the table.
So we're going to hit, so we type it in our y equals button. We go second graph. Am I close enough to five years? Can I just estimate or should I go, all I have to do is hit down, right? See, I don't need to estimate when I use a table. I can, I can just go up and down. So 5 is 13,193. Now, what do you think about that? Is that pretty normal for somebody to buy equipment for their office and then five years later it'd be worth almost half as much as when they bought it? Yeah. All right, let's think about this. That computer over there probably costs about $1,400, like $1,400. It's about seven years old. How many of you all would even pay me $100 for it? All right. No, 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 you wouldn't. Because that would be very foolish. You could go to, it, it, yeah, you can go to eBay or something and get something better for even $100. Okay? Because stuff depreciates like that. So, but let's look at part C. The owner says the equipment should have a value of zero dollars after 10 years because it would be the same as 100% depreciation. Is that right? No. Why, Mitchell? All right, so first of all, it would not equal, you're right, it would actually equal 120% depreciation if we're counting it like that, but... So that's one error they made. Secondly, let's look at it. We have it in our calculator already. We can see that after 10 years, it's going to equal, it's going to be worth about $6,900. Right? So that's one way we know he's wrong. Is that stuff going to be worth zero ever? No, because if nothing else, you can take it to a metal yard and say, here's some metal. Give me some money for it. Right? So his error is the fact that he's just adding up percentages each year, but that's not how it works, right? Yeah. All right, we're, you'll see in just a minute. Okay. That means you typed in wrong. Okay. Like this. It means you probably forgot your X. Did you forget your X? Okay. A certain type of bacteria is placed on a culture. In this culture, the population of the bacteria increases at a rate of 100 or at 25 percent every hour beginning of an experiment, 1,000 bacteria are placed on the culture. So is this growth or decay? So what did I tell you yesterday about growth? You add the one. Now, thinking about what I've been telling you today, why did I tell you yesterday to add the one in front of it? Because it's how far away it is from 100%. So if it's growth, it's above 100%, right? So this is 1.25. Last night's homework was all growth. You were supposed to put the 1. See, this is a growth problem. See, it increases. Right? So again, if it's growth, you go the percentage above 100. If you it's decay, you go the percentage below 100. Does that make sense? Right? Growth, you go up. Okay, you go down. So, this is 1,000 times 1.25 raised to the X. So, the growth factor is 1.25. That's A. This is B. That's the equation. Number of bacteria after six hours is Y equals 1,000 times 1.25 raised to the sixth power. I think it would be a waste of time to put it in the table because you only have one to answer. So 
So this is what it looks like if you put it in out on the main screen. Oh, yeah, all it does is that. Never mind. You don't know what that means. Same answer. Decimal points just moved, right? Great. You know I would delete the one thing I needed to keep. Okay. All right, so it's 3,814. So is there set? Can't round up. It's bacteria. 0.7 of it doesn't make a whole one. Right? So does this kind of make sense? So again, what you want to think of is percent, if it's growing, you add that percent to 100 percent. If it's decaying, you take that percent away from 100. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions?